Once upon a time in the country of Guatemala, there was a little boy named Chuck. He lived with his mama and his papa and his sister and his abuela, his grandmother. And Chuck, uh oh, eight years old, he knew he was ready to work with his papa in the fields. For his papa had a farm and he walked, worked long days from when the sun went up till the sun went down. And one day his papa said to him, Chuck, Tomorrow you are going to come into the fields with me and you are going to help me plant the seeds. Oh, he was so excited. And he went to bed early that night because he knew that he had to wake up when the sun came up and that he would work all day next to his papa until when the sun went down. And he got up that morning ready to go out and out into the fields they went and they planted and they planted the seeds until the sun was going down. And then Chuck and his papa went home his mama and his sister had made homemade tortillas and black beans for dinner and they filled their bellies and they laughed and they talked at dinner. And after dinner, Chuck thought to himself, I must go to bed early. I must go to bed so I can get up when the sun comes up and help my papa in the fields again. And then all of a sudden, he remembered he remembered that he had forgotten to water the seeds. His papa had given him this job, this big responsibility, and he had forgotten, and now it was dark, and it was too late. The seeds would not grow. Now his abuela had been watching him, and she asked him what was the matter, and he told her, oh, the seeds will not grow. It was my job, my job, and, and now they will not grow because it is dark, and I cannot water them now. Come onto my lap, said his abuela, and she hugged him tight. And she said, let me tell you a story. And this is the story she told. Once upon a time, not in my time or your time, but in a time long ago, there was a beautiful Mayan princess, and she was given the most amazing gift by the sun god. It was said that she could cure your worries, and if she couldn't cure them, she could help you to understand what you needed to do with them. Is that true? Is that true, said Chuck? It is, said his grandmother. And he looked around and he said, well, where is she? I would love for her to help me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, said his abuela. That happened a long time ago, but she left behind some of her magic. And she went and got these little dolls. These are worry dolls, she said. And all you have to do is whisper your worry to the doll, place it under your pillow, and go to sleep. And when you wake up in the morning, your worries will be gone, or you will know what to do with them. Chuck looked at the doll, and he said, Do you really believe that is true? I do, said his grandmother. I have had my worry doll since I was a little girl, and I still use it because big people have worries too. But tonight, you may use it. Chuck thanked his abuela and went into his bedroom. He looked at the worry doll. His grandmother had never lied to him, so he whispered the story to the doll of all of his worries, he put it under his pillow, and went to sleep. When he woke up, he realized he had slept a good sleep. And when he looked out the window, it was raining. The rain had watered his seeds. Oh, he thanked his worry doll and placed it right next to his bed, just in case he ever had another worry. And from that day until this, big people and little people all over the world put their worry dolls under their pillows when they go to sleep. And that's the story of the worry doll.